Now today's topic, I'm going to do a little bit of coloring on some pen blanks. And in this split screen, I'm taking one of these pen blanks down to round, down to the bushings. And these have been stabilized and they've been double dyed. And some of these that I've turned have come out really, really well. Sometimes they don't uh, take the color very well. So in that case, and here's one right here that came out rather, rather pale. And I'll take one of these pen blanks and add a little bit of coloring and I'll show you how I do that in this video. All right, now the color I have left in this pen blank really isn't too bad. I like that. And you can see I've got a little green and I've got a little purple in that. Now I'm going to add a little bit of paint thinner here and just uh, highlight that. That is what that's going to look like if I get a little bit of finish on there. And I'll tell you what, that's really not too bad. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave that and not uh, add any more color to that. All right, now, here is the pen I just worked on. Now let me find another pen blank that needs a little bit more color than that. And I'm pretty happy with the color in that. This is not a, a very good example of burl wood. It's okay. And I'm very happy with that. That, uh, that came out pretty neat. Now, I picked another pen blank which doesn't have a lot of color in it. Um, and maybe I just did a single dye color on that. And uh, anyway, here, here are some more blanks I've done. And I think these are going to be pretty good. These are all double dyed. And like I said before, I'm still learning about that. Well, and here's another bowl full of pen blanks. And I think these will be fine. So anyway, let's uh, turn our attention to this particular pen blank I've got chucked up in here. I'm going to turn that down a little bit off camera and then we'll do a little uh, dyeing on that because that needs a little bit more color. Now I staple groups of sandpaper based on the grit and this stack right here goes up to 1200 and it probably starts at, actually this starts at 400. So I think I've sanded enough right here. I can do a little bit more sanding once I get my finish on there and make it really, really nice and smooth. I'm ready to do a little dyeing on this or staining. And what I like to use is trans tint. And this is trans tint dye solution. This, I'm pretty sure this is from Woodcraft. And there are a lot of different suppliers you can find this. And what I like about it is I can dilute that and I use that with lacquer thinner. So I'm going to get some of that and uh, we'll do a little coloring with this. Now I was going to mention the pen that I showed you. I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's the um, Artisan Exemplar Pen Kit. And I get my pen kits from Craft Supplies. There we go. All right. Now I take my stain and I dilute it with lacquer thinner and some of the dyes or stains you can get, you can mix with water, you can mix with uh, paint thinner, maybe denatured alcohol. And part of the reason I do this is I do some lacquered pieces. I spray lacquer so this is compatible. Anyway, I'm going to do some blue and I'm going to do some brown. 
right there. And I've got uh, probably five colors and I mix them up in quart containers, quart mason jars and then I put them in a smaller bottle. So let's start with some blue and for once I've got some rubber gloves on. I'm going to turn my lathe on real slow and I'm really going to saturate this, this this first go around with the blue. Now I don't have to do any more tool work on this. I've got it sanded. I'll just put a little bit of color in there. I'm really going to soak this and you can mix your trans tint and you can either dilute it a lot or just a little bit and you'll get more of a vibrant color on there. Now you can see why I'm doing that. This particular pen blank started out and I'm afraid it was pretty pitiful in my opinion. Maybe we can improve on nature just a little bit. All right. I like that a lot. I could stop right there. And I'm going to speed this up. What I usually do is I'm working on other uh, projects in my shop and I'll let this sit and really soak in there for a while. I'm going to just buff this a little bit. Now actually, the first color I had on this pen blank was some red. And you can see some of that red poking through there. Now before I put my second color on there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little bit of sandpaper, find some finer sandpaper. I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this. This is probably 600 grit or so. And I'm going to just sand this a little bit. Now you're thinking, why is he doing that? Well, I'm going to put a second color on there. Actually, it's a third color. And it will show up a little better. I'm going to just wipe this down with some paint thinner. The colors will show up a little bit better if I actually take a little bit of that off. Now, it's got the blue, it's got the red, and it's also exposed some of the lighter wood color in there. And that's kind of what I'm after. Now, if you search my YouTube channel, you'll find other videos doing this. Um, I've got other videos turning pens and coloring wood and they may go into a little bit more detail. But, you know, again, I could stop there. I think that would be really cool. One combination of colors that I really like is blue and brown. So I'm going to put my blue away, close up the top of that. And I'm going to put a little brown on here. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the brown on. And I'm not sure how much I'm going to see of this brown. Uh, you know, you never know what you're going to get. Now one thing I really wanted to do was I wanted to hide the lighter wood a little bit more. And to be honest, I don't know if I like that or not. I'm going to get another color and I'm going to, I'm going to change that just a little bit. I'm going to just buff that in a little bit more. 
take a clean paper towel and, and there's always a lesson in this and what you can do is just take a little bit of sandpaper again and sand that back. And that's okay, you can change your mind in the middle of it. And I'm going to put a little bit of paint thinner on my sandpaper and do a little wet sanding. There we go. Now again what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking some of the color off and I'm sanding back to the wood a little bit more. Now, I, I like that. That's okay. I could live with that. But I'm experimenting. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one more color. Something that's going to contrast to that a little bit more. The brown didn't do it. Alright, that's okay. So I'm going to go pick a color and I'm thinking maybe, maybe green. Alright. Alright, I found my bottle of green dye. So we're going to put uh, a little bit of green on that. Now one of the problems that uh, I am presented with here is I've got a stabilized piece of wood. So trying to put more color into this isn't all that easy. So I'm going to just kind of buff that up a little bit and I like to go with the grain but this is a really nice example of burl wood I'm going to turn my camera off and I'm going to let that sit there for 20 minutes and I'm going to let it really soak in and then I'm going to complete this pen okay now I'm to a point where I think I'm going to start finishing this pen. One sort of pleasant surprise here is the red that's sticking through there. So let me find some super glue and that's the first thing I'm going to do when I'm finishing a pen. Very slow, I've got a clean paper towel and I'm, I just drip this on here. Now I like that a lot. I'm going to let that sit on there and soak in a bit and just dry. I don't like to use the accelerator. I just soon let that dry naturally. So I'm going to shut the camera off and I'll get back to you. Okay, now I'm not going to go through this entire process of finishing this pen. We all have different methods of doing it. One thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to buff this. I've got one coat of CA glue on there. I'm going to just buff this up. I want to maintain, I want to maintain its smoothness. I don't want to go back to sandpaper or anything. I'm just buffing that up a little bit. Now I'm going to put a little bit more CA glue on there. And one thing I found is if I shut my lathe off and apply this CA glue very quickly. I get a nice finish on there and I'll just let that sit. Now the next thing I like to do is take a little bit of Triple E which has a little grit in, in the formulation. Now as I'm doing this, as I'm buffing this and sanding it a bit, I'm getting a little bit of green on my paper towel. Now I want to put enough finish on here, CA glue or whatever I'm using, to the point where I'm not getting anything on my paper towel. I'm going to put another coat of CA glue on there.
All right, I'm not getting any color on my paper towel. I think I've got that sealed adequately. The last thing I did is I put a little shellow wax on there. And I can take this and buff it on my buffing wheel and maybe get a little bit better gloss. Anyway, let me put this pen together and I will show it to you. Well, there's my pen completed and I like it. I think the colors came out really well. Well, thank you very much for watching once again. And I hope this gave you some ideas about coloring wood and I will talk to you next time. Please subscribe to my videos. It means a lot. Thanks.